Hi, um, this is a tutorial for the um, portable pottery that you take home. And so once you open it up first, and then you notice inside has one more box, okay? So what you do is once you open it up, you will notice inside actually has two sets of tools. One is the eight piece of a plastic sculpting tool. Another one is um, four piece of a trimming tool. And I will show you how to use this once we uh, start the class later on when I'm doing the demo, okay? Now, first of all, is uh, just remember after you finish at the end of the semester, make sure that you keep it in a box and return the box uh, for me when you return them. Now we're gonna take it out. First, we're gonna put it on the table. Grab this out. So I'm gonna grab this out first. Okay, I actually forgot to mention this. First, you notice here, oh, what happened? This one is um if you notice right in here this actually has a serial number is a 100 here right here okay but it's also written on your box okay so here's a, your serial number this is what we have using a cork um this is like a electric plug on every day i mean your household and then on the side you will see a power and then you will see the switch. It says off and four and reverse. That means forward and reverse. And this is a pedal to control the speed. So this um, device, you can put it on the countertop table. Um, it should work in this way. And this is called splash pan. So how do you take it off is if you come a little closer, you can see there's a little knot right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. And that's how you wash the splash pan. Okay, or you can put it back in there this way. Gently lock it in on both sides. And that's how you disassemble and assemble the potter's wheel right in here. Now I'm going to come to that side right in here. Follow me. So this one right here, I might need you to come on this on my right hand side. So if you can see this, this is already plugged in to the electric car. And this is kind of low, so therefore, or you can find some short stool to sit on, or you can sit on the tall chair. These chair will work too as well, okay? Just a little higher than you want it. So either way, these will be okay, okay? So you don't have to have any fancy chair. I have to find a, a toolbox, so I'm just gonna set it on here, okay? So now, once you plug it in, the power is right here. Can you see the power? Once you turn on, you can see the light signal coming up. This always go back to off, okay? So F-O-R right here means forward and reverse. When I say forward, it means you're wheel is spinning counterclockwise so you can see it right here i'm going to turn it on using the switch right here to turn it on but you can see they are counterclockwise okay so you can go all the way to the fast speed if it go really fast the thing will spin it off okay so you can turn it off make sure it's off all the way and um i think i forgot to mention earlier that if you notice that your pedal cannot go all the way down, so I'm gonna turn this off. Make sure that you unscrew the foot. You know, maybe give a little 10 turn and then so they will stabilize and make sure they are stable in a way. So full corner, all turning it. Okay, so now we'll go forward. Forward is for people who are left-handed. And so you can see the wheel will spin. Of course, I need to turn on the power. The, the wheel will spin a clockwise, okay? So again, most of the people that you will use is using a counterclockwise. So again, turn off and go to forward and then wheel will go counterclockwise. And then once you're done with your uh, wheels, then you can clean them and then turn off the power, switch off to the off, turn off the power. That's it. Hope you have some fun.